Lesson 8.9, Display Measurement Data Line Plots. A line plot is a graph that uses X's above a numbered line to show the number of objects that we have counted. The number of objects we count is the data. That's the information that we display. Display means to show. So here we have a line plot, and you can see it's numbered. And this is the number of letters in our first names. So a classroom or a family put an X for each number of letters in their first name. Someone has three letters, two people have four letters, four people have five letters in their name. Then we have two people with six letters in their name, one with seven, and two people with eight letters in their first name. A line plot can be used to show measurement data. We draw X's above the number labels along the line plot to show how many objects are each length. We can quickly see and compare the number of X's. On this line plot, each X stands for the length of one necklace in inches that Sarah made. We can see the title, length of necklaces in inches. We can count the X's to see she made eight necklaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can see she made no 21 inch or 23 inch necklaces. But we can easily see which one she made the most of because it has three X's over the 24 for 24 inches. Each line plot will have a title written below the numbers. The title goes here, below these numbers, and the title is a label that tells us what we counted or measured. It describes what we counted or measured. The numbers on a line plot should always be listed in order from least to greatest. If a number measure has no data, we still write it, but we don't put an X above it. Mr. Park measured pieces of wood and made a list of the measures. So here's his list. It's telling us to make a line plot of his data, write a title and the numbers, and draw the X's. Well, we know he measured pieces of wood. We also can see that they're all in inches, so that will be our title. We can call it pieces of wood in inches. Now, the next thing we do is write the numbers. We look for the least number. The least number would be 15. So that's going to be the first number we write. We need to write them in order from least to greatest, listing all the numbers. Then we would have 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we're going to stop at 20 because that's the greatest number in the list. Now, do you notice I wrote 19 and there is no 19 on the list. We still wrote it because it was in order from least to greatest and all the numbers. Now what we do is we start at the top of the list and we see we have a 16 inch. So I'm gonna put an X over the 16 inch. We can mark this that we did it. We have a 20 inch. We can put an X over that. Mark that we did that one. Now we have the 15 inch, we put an X over that one. Do you notice I'm not doing them in number order? I'm just doing them going down the list. We can put the X's in any order we want onto the line plot as long as we list all the data. We have a 16 inch, so we can put another X above the 16 and mark that we did it. We have an 18 inch, we put an X and mark that we did it. A 17 inch, put an X, put a mark. We have another 16, put a mark, and we have an 18. There are eight in the list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we should have eight X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we have listed all the data. Now we can just look at the line plot and see. He's got more 16-inch pieces 
than other measures, we can see the data, the information, much quicker. Now it's easier to compare the lengths and the quantities. It's faster and easier to compare data that has been organized onto a line plot. The amount of measures we make will be the amount of axes. The least measure will be the first number we write below the line plot. The greatest measure will be the last number we write below the line plot. And we write all the numbers from least to greatest, even if they won't have an x. You can try making your own line plot of the number of letters in your family's names, or you could collect sticks outside and leaves and measure them to the nearest inch and make your own line plot. Our next lesson is going to be in chapter 9 about length in metric units. We're going to learn about centimeters and meters. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye!